Good morning everybody, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel Good morning Saturday If you like my videos please smash that like button, please do subscribe It is Saturday morning Good morning We've even got a little bit of sunshine outside um, However, it's still extremely cold <laughs> It is cold. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. On this day in 1955, Steve Jobs was born. He would start Apple computers in 1976 and later oversaw the launch of products such as the iMac and iPod, which completely revitalized the company. He was also a trailblazer for... Alexa, good morning. what's the time, Steve? The time is 8.29 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? It's Saturday the 24th of February. Alexa, what's the outlook for the weather today? Currently, in Rochester it's 2 degrees Celsius with clear skies and sun. Today, you can expect clouds with a chance of showers, with a high of 9 degrees and a low of 0 degrees. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? Knock, knock. Who's there? Can't say, can't say who, no Siri, can't say me. Alexa, whose birthday is it today? Today's, Today's famous birthdays include American boxer Floyd Mayweather Jr., German footballer Hans Dieter Flick, American philosopher and gender theorist Judith Butler, Indian scholar, literary theorist and feminist critic Gayatri Chakraborty Spivak, and British actor Daniel Kaluuya. So guys, it's Saturday morning. I've got no plans to, for today at all. Uh, the weekend is usually busy in the town centre because the families go out with their kids and I don't like noisy, loud, crowded places. So I tend to go out during the week. Um, so I've got no plans for today at all, apart from walking Max and... Uh, just staying at home. Um, so, we ha still have an evil person that is intense on upsetting me and trying to get me into trouble or causing trouble. But I'm an adult and I'm not stupid and I don't put myself in situations where I'm going to come under attack or harm. So, last night we had a message uh, off of Flirt Finder again. It was a supposedly bald-headed man. This time he had a grey fancy waistcoat on. He looked very nice, prim and proper, like he was going out to a dinner do. I'm sure that wasn't the person's real photograph. Of course it wasn't, and I know that by now, and so do they. So I don't know why they keep doing it. Again, can I have a photograph of you? And I said, no, you can't. Um, hey, hey, sorry about that. Uh, was the baldness, was it? Wig on my next picture. I said, no, thank you. I'm not interested because they're not a real person. And they thought I didn't want them because they were bald. So they said they'd put a wig on in their next picture. Hee hee. Very funny. They kept texting after I told them I wasn't interested. They kept texting. Yeah, someone said, why don't you go out? Are you going out tonight? How are you lovely? Kiss, kiss. Good. Do you have a picture? And I said, no. No worries. So what are you doing in on a Friday night? Kiss, kiss. Uh, because I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm a middle-aged woman, I don't go out night clubbing, I haven't got a partner, I don't feel safe in bars and clubs by myself. That's why I'm on my own on a Friday evening. 
yesterday that was just as i was getting these messages my buzzer rang yesterday evening he was in upstairs the guy above me and i had a ring to my buzzer and there was a guy stood outside the block of flats with a call box a blue and white call box and it was obviously a takeaway delivery and I, I, I thought, oh my God, that's not started again, as it? People sending takeaways to my door and not paying for them. But I sorted that out straight away anyway. He said, uh, so-and-so, I said, no. He went, oh, sorry. And the takeaway was obviously for somebody else. Nice, handsome-looking chap. Not bald and fat with uh, horrible teeth. And I, I've got, I, I don't mind saying my teeth ain't, ain't all that. They ain't. But what I'm saying is drug teeth. You know, black, drug-stained teeth. So this guy sent me a picture of a bald-headed man, very tiny. He looked like he had a grey waistcoat on, like he was going out to a dinner do. And, um... I get this good looking bloke of about 30 to 35, nice brown hair, ring my buzzer with a takeaway for somebody else. Do you see what they do? Their little mischief maker, their little horrible, whoever it is, containing me in this dump trying to make me go outside and pick up men and because I'm just sitting in my flat not giving them photographs not going out they're sending good looking men to my buzzer and it's a takeaway for somebody else and it is done on purpose it's done on purpose and I'd like to know who's doing it because you can, you must be on my case 24-7 I had one of these trolls say to me they was going to stick to me like glue. Why? What have I done? Well, more for you, because my life is pretty boring at the moment. I stay most of the time indoors, so you can stick to me like fucking glue. And I, t I went into the co-op the other day and someone was buying super glue. This person is hounding me, harassing me and using other people to get to me and getting away with it because the police just can't be bothered they haven't got the time they haven't got the manpower and this person is wreck trying to wreck my life and i don't take any notice of them because i wouldn't stick to them like glue i don't know who they are they won't show their real face and i'm really not interested I've already said, if you think I've done something wrong, you know, come and talk to me about it and I can put you right and, and, and tell you what's happened and gone on. Not lies from other people, not, not lies from other people, the truth from myself. And if you can't be bothered to come to me and, um, you know, get the truth, and you believe other people's lies, that's entirely up to you. But when you get caught, you can go to prison for harassment and stalking somebody. You can go to prison for it now. So I'd really seriously stop it before you get yourself into trouble. It's not funny, it's harassment. And it causes people serious mental health issues when you start stalking and harassing and trying to frighten somebody into giving you filthy pictures because that's what you're trying to do aren't you you pervert you're trying to extort dirty pictures out of me and when i don't come out with them you start threatening and um, abusive behavior online so they're obviously making money out of my photos and what I'm saying because they start to harass and get very aggressive when they don't get any photographs out of me. And they're not getting any. And there's been no 
nothing worth stealing on my Facebook because all the pictures are of me in obviously winter clothing. So they go down your Facebook, they go down your Instagram because they're a thief. They're also trying to copy me, they're a thief. They need updated photographs because they're pretending to be me online. So they need updated photographs. They're a thief. They're making money out of me, they're not paying and they're getting paid to steal my photographs and ideas. And I know their game. And I don't bloody care, because they will get found out and they go to prison. But they think, oh, I can do anything I like with this woman. They're probably doing it to other people as well, because nobody fucking cares. And, well, that is basically the truth. Only I can stop them by not giving them anything. Isn't it? <clears throat> So I stayed indoors. Someone was trying to get me out of my flat Friday night. I told you I've had incidences in my flat where my property's been destroyed. Someone was trying to lure me outside, get me outside last night, and I didn't go anywhere. It's like my cat is trying to attack the camera again. <laughs> Just knocked Max's water bowl over. He's gone maniac. <laughs> he's a kitten, so he's been he climbs, jumps. It's like a flying squirrel. Still, he makes me laugh and he keeps me busy. So this person likes calling me lovely as well. Lovely. Do you any, do you know anybody that keeps overusing the word lovely? Hello, my lovely. Lovely, lovely. They keep using the word lovely all the time. It's a right pervert. It's a annoying nuisance and they're actually getting people to ring my buzzer for takeaways for somebody else. I told them, I said I'm on a diet, so it doesn't really bother me. Keep eating takeaways, you're going to blow up like a balloon. <laughs> um, so like I said, I've got not much planned for today. Um, I'm just minding my own business. It's pre pretty okay apart from that last night. I have my weights, which I'm well pleased with because I am trying to lose a bit of weight. So the weights are going to help. I had the cat litter. The cat litter is perfect. Um, their whole life must revolve around food. Food doesn't bother me. It really doesn't. They keep trying to, to, take, you know, they think they've got more than me. They haven't. They think the takeaways, so, so what? Um, I think this person is also harassing other people. It's not just me. Because obviously they make a living from spreading people's life all over tattle life which is a it is it's got the right name it's tatty tattle life um getting people to bet on who's gonna what celebrity is gonna die next i've told you that and this this troll of mine was on tattle life and they're they're in my um internet they go on my instagram they follow me on instagram with fake names they follow me on uh, Twitter with fake names, um, Snapchat, YouTube, all the social media I'm on, they follow me and they harass. And they obviously, you can follow someone without, if you have got a public profile, anyone can follow you, you see. And you don't know who the fuck they are. And some of them are trolls. Some of them are just trying to find out, look at your pictures, get your information, and then they steal it. Right? If I... Sh if I don't want to shut all my social media down. And, I, you know, I don't want to keep all my accounts to private because I want other people to see and I want to help them go through what I'm going through. So if this... 
stupid little troll wants to follow all my all my media uh, and profit from it it won't do them any good because i thought i told you they will get found out eventually so it's like my cat's intent on breaking the flat first thing in the morning what are you doing now you're a little little ragamuffin aren't you mate come on He's grown up really big, Harry, as the ginger tomcat that Kim brought me. He's grown up really big. The trouble is, he's bigger than a normal kitten, and he's flat. He's, he reminds me of Snowball too, my cat that passed away uh, last year. Very much like her, and stupid and silly, and trying to jump at things and fall down. He's got his feet all wet because he's not, he just likes tipping, water. he loves water. So when he sees the water move, he darts on the water, the bowl, bowl goes over, but Max needs water. So, I mean, I just have to keep mopping up the water he keeps tipping over. My other cat's just let down sleeping. This one's hyperactive. I don't know what they put in pet food these days, but it's always after he's eaten. <laughs> Gets hyperactive, like a kid. Um, so yeah, Saturday. Um, what can I say? I'm just waiting for this troll whoever they are, to ping the phone, email me, or, or contact me in some other way, trying to get photos. But they got, they've obviously gone down my Facebook, and um, they're after source, what I call saucy photographs. And they're not getting any. And I'm going outside with coats, trousers. That's all this, this pervert does. Oh, perverts. I don't know who they are. I really don't care. But when they start to get people to ring my buzzer to harass me, it's getting beyond a joke. You know what I mean? Um, I, I keep myself to myself. Um, that, uh, that taxi driver was a maniac the other day. One wonders if he's got something to do with it. He was a complete lunatic. He was laughing in the taxi. He was taking the piss out of me. Complete nutcase. I don't even know who he was. But he had a bald head and glasses, didn't he? He had a bald head and a pair of glasses on. Just a complete nutter. So it was funny to take the piss out of me. Well, life is full of lunatics. You've got to avoid them. That's what I'm doing. I mean, you've got to look on the funny side of it, haven't you? And they've got nothing else better to do with their life. It must be pretty bloody sad. I mean, I hardly ever go out. I hardly ever go out for safety reasons. And when I do go out, they get they might see me for five minutes. actually paid me for what they were stealing and paid me for for you know the story of my life uh yeah but they want to steal it for free and they can fuck off <laughs> you want pictures show your face and taking a mickey out of me and you're gonna put a wig on your head are you going to put a wig on your head next time you send me a photograph you're going to put a wig on your head well, it, won't make, it won't make any difference to you mate because you're ugly inside you understand 
and I don't want someone that's ugly inside. I want someone that's kind and helpful and isn't evil. So keep your wig and keep your fucking troll face and fuck off. And I don't go soft, you know. I don't. I don't go. I. You know. Yeah. I still. I. I'm not going to let trolls trample all over me, right? Look in the mirror, you fucking idiot, and see the pain and trouble you're causing other people, and how it's turning you into an ugly monster. See you later.